even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous, uh I know that I YouTube, good child boys and girls, Cobra family We back with another video, man, today As y'all see from the title That's who we got We got our boy Dirk Now, obviously, y'all, we are four days behind um, on this video Because this was this video, um it was out like four days ago. Well, it, it came out. It's been out for four days. And I know we've been reacting to other stuff and we've been paying other things attention. So, uh, yeah, we didn't get a chance to get a little dirt, but now we're here. So, uh, and it's, it's still trending anyway. So, I mean, we're not too, too late. It's only like four days. It's like half a week. So, we should still be fine. But, anywho, um, oh, I, by the way, y'all, we're creeping up on 3K subs already. <laughs> So it's like we're going to end the month with 3K subs for sure. Well, are we? If we don't, it's definitely going to be close. Because y'all know it's like what? Today, tomorrow, and then the 29th. So three more days in this month. I don't know. Hopefully we end the month with like 3K subs. But if not, I mean, we'll be like definitely like close to it. Like right there. But uh, anywho, this song Lil Dirt D is called Old Days. So I'm very curious. And by the way, y'all, the, the, the music video came out, the clip came out like this. So, look, I don't know why it's so, you know, like it is. But anywho, without further freaking do, let's get right to Jerry Production. Jerry Production. Oh. You know, I've been talking to my family. On group FaceTime, you know, so they don't add me for now. Just, they just tell me that they miss me, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be telling them about money, but I'm going to send it anyway, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Okay. All the times I said granny, that's the passion that it's from. Her condition scared me so much, I ain't visit her in months. She ain't no visit me more than them, and he only visit me just once. So all the rest got out before Uncle, and they around here like it's nothing. How many niggas I used to fuck with told me fuck me over money? Said the block gonna get on his ass, that's why he ain't never make a comment. Man. <clears throat> He look, Dirk already spitting facts, man. And y'all, y'all know what's crazy? I hear so much from like rappers or, or like really established people in general that like once you actually legit start making like big, like big boy money, like I'm talking about millions. I've heard like people switch up on you, and you know, I mean, it, there there are a lot of people who y'all believe or not. Well, y'all y'all know this. A lot of people will never like actually reach that magnitude of money, and it's like I feel like when they know that you're, you know, when they know somebody who has it, it like I don't know. It it really just depends on like the 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 relationship y'all got like in general because. With how my life was going, y'all, I use me for an example. With how my life was going, I don't really, I want to say I don't really see nobody, like, looking at me different when I do actually start making that big, big kind of money. But at the same time, it's like, I, you, you just never know. Like, I really don't know. But there's people for certain now I'm, now I'm a thousand percent sure that would never, like, you know, look at me different just because of how much money I'm making or they wouldn't do no weird, you know, Sneaky stuff like that. Because if anything, a whole bunch of people have seen me, like, you know, struggle. Especially when I started college, y'all. I would... I'm talking about, like, I was eating noodles, like, a lot. I was working two jobs, barely paying rent at the time. It's, like, very, very stressful. Very stressful. So, um, yeah, man. Like, I, I really just hope stuff don't change like that for me. Because I do hear that a lot from successful people, like, successful influencers. Who are making that big money? Like a lot of people do, switch up on them. But I think it just depends on it. It varies from person to person. Cause y'all know rappers, like they get they some a lot of them have beef before they even, you know, before they career even starts. So it could be from that too. But um, anywho, Dirk, Dirk, he see now he pouring his heart out in this one. The autopsy of my body had me coughing on my vomit. I miss the old days, the old ways. My history iconic. Autopsy of Vine Body. Oh man. So Dirk actually saying like what it did to him. Cause I, I think we was all wondering, like, okay, how did Dirk take it? Like, how did he feel about it? Like, 
Cause Dirk never publicly said like how 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 he did him, man. And he basically just said not only did he vomit, but he was man, y'all know how messed up you gotta be to like throw like throw up and then like it don't even Oh sh damn. So he basically saying it, it, it messed him up. It mess so it messed him up when he saw it. The fact that he even saw it, man, like, damn. Like, imagine seeing, like, one of your closest people, y'all, doing going through that. Like, y'all don't understand, like, how messed up Dirk had to be from that. And Dirk, he going to forever have to hear in his comment section, oh, slide for fun, slide for fun. It's like, bro, can y'all... That is, like, some of the most police stuff I've ever seen in my life, y'all. Like, literally... Literally, like Dirk cannot. Is y'all got to understand the position Dirk is in? If he, if he were to somehow, in the subtlest of way, even confirm he did anything, the police are immediately gonna be on his case. But then again, it's like if he, you know, portrays to the world like he, he didn't do anything. People gonna troll him and say, "Oh, you ain't even slide for fun, bro. Slide for fun. Slide for fun." So it's like, bro, if he slide, he, he, like, what? And if y'all really pay, you know what? I I was gonna say if y'all really pay attention to detail, y'all understand understand certain things. But you know, I I I I rather not even really speak on it for real because y'all just yeah, y'all will probably clip this and be like. Oh, some reactor said dirt did no, no, hell no. Nah. No, because y'all wanna be stupid. I'ma let y'all be stupid. <laughs> because bro, like like I said, Dirk, he he really in a messed up position. So I think it is probably best for him to like people to assume that he didn't do nothing or or hasn't done anything. So I yeah, I I'm pretty sure he would prefer that anyway. Like he it's easy to ignore comments, y'all. It's not easy to avoid police. That's what's not easy. The FBI, like, y'all know certain cases, they get the FBI involved and SWAT team people. Like, it get, it get deep if they really own your case, especially if you're a well-known celebrity. So, the yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of glad, like, you know, Dirk hadn't, like, publicly said nothing about, like, you know, the sliding for Vine comments. I'm, I'm really glad. But he, he really, he's talked about it in his music a couple of times, but I'm glad he just ain't, like, actually address it, you know? But, anywho, yeah, y'all stop doing that, man. That's police stuff. Like, what? Anyway. Damn, man. Hold your head up, Dirk. The autopsy of my body had me coughing on my vomit. I miss the old days, the old ways, my history iconic. I was taking so many pills, I was so high, I really abused it. Started selling perks, I turned around and started to use it. Took my name on rehab, I replaced my name with duties. Had to get a pacemaker, my heart was skipping deuces. Yeah, see, so he he is it's worse than I thought. It's even worse now, cause he it's like the the, the farther along the song get, the more Dirk is explaining like, hey y'all, uh, not only did the situation with Vine mess me up, like man, like I was doing good, being sober, you know, I was selling stuff. It's like Shoot, the way I was feeling, man, I, I I started consuming it. You know, like he basically saying, like it, you know, like he it it made him it enhanced his you know need to, like you know help him out, and it's like obviously it ain't in a good way, but at the same time it's like like I told y'all, a lot of people like deal with certain things like, you know, not all the same. Like yeah, everybody handled like you know. Some a, a close loved one passing dearly, so it's like, so that yeah, so Dirk basically for the most part is explaining like what happened and where his life is at right now at this moment, and he basically saying like, y'all, I'm messed up. I'm in a messed up spot in my life right now. Like, not only is my boy not here, but I keep hearing like comments about people saying slide this, slide that, and that could get me in some more trouble. And then on top of that, like I, I had to see his autopsy and 
like it it messed me up to that point. Like I I started taking drugs. And it's like man, like that's that's messed up, you know. So yeah, Dirk is he going through it for real? Rehab, I replaced my name with duties. Had to get a pacemaker, my heart was skipping deuces. Jumping over hurdles, smirk life so exclusive. I ain't lied yet about nothing. I wish I could stop the war. I really want to live in peace. I wish I could stop the war, but it's too late for them to speak. Mm, yeah, see? Yeah, and he he, talk, he he basically just just reminiscing on, like, you know, his past life and, you know, being... Cause we, we all know Dirk. He, you know... He didn't. He didn't publicly talked about like him being in you know violence and stuff like that, and he basically saying like, man, you know, <clears throat> I really wish like it could we could we could just be at peace, man. Like we we all successful. We all got life to live. Like a lot of us got got kids. We got a whole family. I wish we could just like you know just call it off and you know we all just live. I like cause. Bro, like not just dirt, but people like young boy, like everybody like dirt and I, I don't even think him and young YB even had like a serious beef, man. Like, or if they do, like they they really they really smart about it and not letting people know because um a lot of people when they read too much in this stuff, they they get to playing police and then once you do that, it's like you putting both of them in jeopardy and both of their careers because like I told y'all, police. Is really heavy on celebrities, especially rappers. Like they, they got eyeballs on them at all times. Cause social media is just so telling nowadays, y'all. So it's like they gotta, they gotta watch what they gotta watch their every move. Gotta watch what they say, and they know, especially having a big platform, they can't slip up and say too much. They do that. That's the they people under the comments gonna talk too much, which could potentially be a FBI agent or a police person. And then bam, here they go making a report behind the scenes. So, yeah, they gotta be careful. But I just say like you know, they not really into it at the moment. But um, I mean the whole world kind of knew, especially when YB had dropped that one song dissing everybody, and then he this old block and stuff. So, yeah, like they're just saying, man, like we just need to. Like stop, stop this violence and stuff. Cause I want to live my life in peace. Cause I'm pretty sure Dirk, YB, all of them got to look behind their shoulders every single second. Well, YB here on house arrest, but when he get out, he gonna have to look. He, he gonna have to keep his head on on a swivel, y'all. Once 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 you get deep, once a life is gone, and you you repping for the team that t I mean, y'all like. Bro, I'm pretty sure both of them wanted to stop and they wanted to live their life in peace, but, you know. But as far, like I said, we're going to say that they live in, they, that they live in a very peaceful life and they, you know, don't have no beef. Because, like I said, some of y'all is police. But anywho. I want the politics in my pocket. I want to treat the rack like meek. But it's me. I do everything to show the main weak. I'm the streets. Whoever thought I'd make a million off a of beast. And he smirk now. They can make millions off of me. I be praying for the street now. I be praying for the street now. Tell PD that I miss him. Can somebody get my number to him? Plus he lost his son, that's my little cousin, he got trauma to him. Crib mm. hot, window up, blackout, thunderstorm. Rondo mama know I love her even though I ain't been talking to him. Stay with me, get Rondo. Hmm. Not not Quando, right? I, well, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, y'all let me know who Dirk referring to when he say uh, Rondo. I, it can't be Quando Rondo. Well, I'm not sure. Y'all let me know. We do a blackout, thunderstorm. Rondo mama know I love him even though I ain't been talking to him. Stay with me, get back door. He'd rather let the office do it. Don't get shot on my block or say Menard ain't got no trauma unit. He was filled with Zanzelin. Now he filled with Obama fluid. The killers got to step in for the peace. Can no rappers do it? I can. Shout out to who locked up, who was locked in. What them bloggers at that said Smirky on our top team. I be. Mm. Yeah, so basically Dirk saying like the only way like for like it, it really to 
get stopped all together is for the people who really about that about that life come out and speak and say, hey, we need to, you know, we need to change this. We need to stop this. Because he, Dirk, Dirk basically saying, like, the streets is not going to listen to somebody who ain't got stripes, who ain't got, you know, who ain't, you know, doing nothing for real, who ain't, they, they had no bodies. They not, the streets not going to listen to that person. Or, like, you know, like, if they don't got no common respect, the streets not going to listen to you. So Dirk basically saying, like, you know, it's got to be somebody who, who been in the game for a long time and who, you know, got their stripes and who didn't, then show people like, hey, like this, this, this what it is, on like some grown man stuff, you know, who actually who, who have bodies. The streets only gonna listen to them. So I mean, that makes sense though. You kind of do have to, when you in that lifestyle, you 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 have to have done like some a good amount of stuff to get respect. Y'all, yeah, you you do like you have to do some stuff to get respect, cause you you you'll get tested real quick. Playing with the with the street life though. That's why I condone y'all don't get into that. Like I don't know why it's a thing to be be in the street. It's not fun it's not like you know, it's not something fun you wanna be a part of, you know? It's really not. But not to say I have I've been in it, but a couple of people I was close with were in it and I saw firsthand how bad it can get. So yeah. Um but anywho, Dirk speaking fast. My case in 2014, they let the cops in. You can't find no peace today, go walk inside a mosque, G. Jerry Production. Now you got real street niggas that want motherfuckers in jail. So we on tour with the ops, which is the police. With the police, which is the... It's like, come on, bro. Like, the street's over with. Niggas gotta understand that shit, man. There's nothing left out here, bro. Like, you just gotta protect yourself, protect your family, your, your, who you love. You can't be around all this shit. This shit ain't the same no more. You got rats doing interviews. You got everybody sticking together who doing the wrong shit, bro. We real stand-up niggas. Like, when was it ever cool to back door somebody you love? When it was ever cool to set somebody up who you love? Like, this this, this the new streets. Like, I don't want to be a part of that shit. I want to be a part of the, of the generational wealth part where it's still leadership around, when it's still organized. Like, that's why I don't never respond to shit. I never get on an interview and talk about nothing. Whoever say something about me, go on here. Exactly. I never responded to no nigga in years. But guess what? I never been bitch. I never been slapped. I never been robbed. None of that shit. So have right. fun. But all real niggas fuck with me. And they know what's up with me. Bow wow. Thanks. Bow wow. I be praying for the street. Bow wow. Bow wow. I be praying for the street. Bow wow. I be praying for the street. Bow wow. Yeah, y'all, I mean, Dirk, he just basically said what I was saying. <sighs> Long live all the fallen soldiers. Yeah, see y'all? I told y'all, man, like, Dirk, he just wanted, he wanted, he wanted to be, you know, like, it, it was so, he said so much. Like, he wanted, he, he basically wanted to live his life in peace. He was literally, he literally brought up the family thing, saying, you know, people got families out here, people... You know, this street life is not what's up. And then it's different nowadays on top of that. <clears throat> you got people who beefing with other people on camera, like, literally snitching. Like, Dirk saying, like, it was it was not like this back in the day. It was a lot more real, real dudes out here nowadays. Now you got, like, people willingly snitching. That's supposed to be, you know, in the streets, supposed to be real. Like, they, we were not doing that back then. So he was like, I don't want to be a part of that. At this point, like, ain't no, ain't no point in being a part of that. Like, bro, and, and then it's starting to get corny anyway. Like, he literally saying like, this is starting to get like, it, it's already like not cool in the first place. But y'all didn't, y'all didn't take it to somewhere where this ain't even, this ain't what's up at all. Like, it's time to just go ahead, like, focus on money and getting, getting to the money and stuff like it. And he's speaking facts. Like, y'all, that lifestyle is not... I don't know... I don't know why my generation really, really for real want to get into that. Like, y'all know, I'm I'm, uh, I'm 27. So, I'm still taking the part of, like, new, the, uh, Gen Z, the new generation. But it's like, bro, I have no idea why everybody want to be in the streets. Why everybody want to be a street dude. Why everybody want to... You feel what I'm saying? Get, get mixed in with, like, selling drugs. Like, I, I don't understand. That is not it, it is not what's up. 
That's not cool, bro. Because once you get into, y'all don't understand. Once you get into it, and people like find, say for example, you you started like selling, like you started selling stuff, like you started selling. You gonna have to, for one, you gonna have to be strapped. You go, you gotta be. There's no peaceful. That that like, bro, you are not gonna be able to sell peacefully doing that for one. Because especially if you are successful, one, people going to find out. And guess what? Like, guess what's going to happen? You you, you eventually going to end up getting set up or you're going to get tried. You're going to get tried some kind of way. Because you, you, in some kind of way, you're going to have to let people know you're not to be played with. Because if you don't, you're going to get set up. You're going to get robbed. Potentially, you might get your life taken, too, if you're really not careful. You know, and then the whole the games and stuff and everything, man. Like, bro, that's that's setting you up to be a target too. Cause what instantly once somebody know you a part of a certain game, it's on and popping on site. Literally, it's on and popping on site. Like literally, like y'all street dudes will tell y'all, bro, this is not the lifestyle I live. But at the same, like y'all want to do it, bro. I get the only thing I get. Is why so many like of my generation want to do it because of you get uh you get an immense amount of respect from it, but at the same time it's like you can get respected by not doing that too. Like it's it's a it's plenty of, of men who not in the street life who get still get respect and won't get tried and you know like you just get respect in general. Take me for example. I get I get a whole bunch of respect. I'm not in the streets, and I never claim to be a part of the streets. That's not that's not something I, I ever care to do or be a part of. Like that's just not that, I'm not I'm not cool. Like that's not something I'm interested in. I'll never be interested in. Cause it, either the only way you're gonna come out of it is either you gonna get at the end of it, you're gonna either be locked up or you're gonna be, you know, your life's gonna be gone. Ain't no in between when you're doing it. Cause it's always gonna catch up with you no matter what. So yeah. But anywho, that's gonna do it, y'all, man. Shout out to Dirk once again, man. He a real one. I told y'all I, I, I rock with Dirk heavy. Like he he got a lot of my respect, and um he 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 sent a, a powerful message. Hopefully, like uh, like my generation really listen to it because they 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 treating this like it's like real life, like it's Call of Duty or or GTA, like in real life. It's like bro, that that is not no. You get one life and you not coming back. You not resurrecting in no hospital. You not like no. A lot of people do not make it. So, yeah, that's my take on this, y'all. Like I did, I know this was a a, lo- a little bit of a long one, but I I mean I did, this had to be said, y'all. Like it's getting worse and worse as time goes on. I'm I'm kind of I'm low key like a little not annoyed with it, but it's like, bro, like what are you doing? You know, but anywho, y'all give me y'all thoughts on it. Y'all give me y'all take on it. Let me know what y'all think, man. But anywho, that's going to do it, y'all. Y'all stay safe. Die of trouble. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all next one. Now, bye. The influence all the times you told me beat it. Now you got to face the music I'm saying. I know.